So you might be in a position where your internet speeds are completely horrible. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, maybe you're trying to download, you know, some you know, applications from your app store. Maybe you're on Snapchat or TikTok and everything is just super slow and nothing is working out that well. Well, the reason why this may be happening for a vast majority of you is typically due to the fact that you are either really far away from your Wi-Fi router or your specific internet connection on your device. You know, maybe you're in a secluded area and different things like that. So the very first thing I would recommend doing is making your way over to your internet settings like this and right under Wi-Fi, I would highly recommend making sure that you are connected to the 5G version of your Wi-Fi. So you can see right here, I'm connected to the two gigahertz, whatever Wi-Fi version of this specific device. That is not a good thing. What I would recommend doing is making sure you're connected to the fastest version of software that you can be on, and that includes the fastest version of your specific internet. So connect to the faster version of your internet, that could be the first thing you can do. You can also try switching to 5G if you have that carrier type of service. If not, you can always switch over to LTE and see if that ends up improving your speed as well. If you have unlimited, I would just recommend doing that. However, your Wi-Fi connection, as long as you're close to the router, should end up fixing it. But like I said, if you're in a home, you could just move closer to wherever your Wi-Fi router is, and that can help increase your speeds as well. Now, depending on what you're doing, you might be better off if you actually go through and remove or reduce the amount of applications you're using in the background. So if you're switching between TikTok and an online game and Snapchat and going onto YouTube and playing a video there, the less things you do on your phone, probably the better in this situation. So what I would recommend doing here as well is reducing the amount of applications that you're using that are requiring internet connection. So you can reduce the amount of internet widgets, you can reduce the amount of you know, applications being you know, refreshed in the background, different things like that. The less things your phone is connected to overall in you know, the internet space, probably the better in this example. Now, finally, another thing you can try doing if you don't want to move your location or whatever, and if you can verify it's not like a you know, carrier service issue, is to basically update your iPhone. So make your way over to your iPhone settings here, Scroll down into general, which is right there. Go and click on software update right there. And just go ahead and update your specific phone. Again, this may end up working, this may not end up working, but it's another thing you can try doing. And hopefully the situation is fixed by now. So that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.